Hello, I'm James Fox Smith from Country Roads magazine. Please join me for Art Rocks, a weekly program that spotlights art from Louisiana and across the country, from the people and communities where art truly rocks. We celebrate artists, musicians and writers through their performances and profiles and see the inspiration and the creativity that fuels their artistic vision. Nationally acclaimed entertainer Nick Cave is in Shreveport getting ready to sweep people off their feet. Nick Cave is here to show our own arts community how you have a meaningful dialogue in the way that only arts can do. It's always the arts that change the direction, the climate of a, of a neighborhood. A Lafayette artist channels one of the greatest painters of all time. I studied Rembrandt the most obsessively because he's like the pinnacle of painting. His compositions were genius. Lake Charles' Candace Alexander paints her way into the hearts of people who love anything Louisiana. Well, naturally, I did a crawfish. My mom and dad raised crawfish ever since I can remember. So I did that piece for her business card, actually. In this edition of Art Rocks, a jazz musician sees music as a part of our everyday life. Many of my influences were actually local people in New Orleans. I was into soul music and it became Motown, but uh, later on I got into jazz, I got bored with disco. Well, music in the context of being in New Orleans was actually just part of life. And photographer C.C. Lockwood focuses our gaze on a journey that guarantees beautiful still life pictures. C.C. Lockwood is a man immersed in his career as a nature photographer. Over 40 years ago, his passion opened many eyes to a hidden and beautiful Louisiana, a treasure called the Atchafalaya Basin. It is the largest existing wetland in the United States. Most people had never heard of it until 1979 when National Geographic published his pictures that showcased the delicate ecosystem dotted with the stories of hardy Cajun men and women living in the secluded backwoods. That and much, much more on a special edition of Art Rocks. 